another day, another dollar in this beautiful world called truck driving. Now, we had a close encounter with DOT yesterday. Very close encounter. Me and Jay Lewis on the back road. I'm pushing a good 70 miles per hour. I'm leading the way. Fully loaded. You know, some eight or some thousand pounds on this thing, right? Coming down the back road. And, um... We come down now. I'm on the phone with Jay Lewis. We talking about you know all types of shit, other than his truck driving stuff. What we're gonna do afterwards? And uh, man, I come over the fucking hill, and as I come over the hill, I see off in the distance to the right side of the road, cause we on a it's, it's a two lane road, but it breaks off into a four lane road. So as I come over the hill, I'm seeing like what well, looks to be some construction crews. You know, some people they out there waving these orange flags. And I'm like, oh. Oh, they want us to slow down. So. <laughs> so as I come over the hill and I see a wave the flag off in the distance, you know, I turn on the Jake brake, but I ain't necessarily just slowing down because they ain't in our lane, you know, and I don't see, like, what the hell they trying to get us to. I don't know if, I, you know, I'm thinking he just saying slow down because they doing construction on the right side of the road. So, you know, as I get closer, I'm seeing blue lights behind the construction people. I'm like, oh, oh, somebody must have crashed or maybe they got like an escort or something going on. So I'm slowing down, not realizing exactly what it is just yet. So I'm telling Jay Lewis, I'm like, hey, man, just go and slow down, man. They got something going on up here. You know, flag or some shit waving. I don't know what the fuck they want. Tell me why when I get closer. The flag of dude goes out in the middle of the road with the flag like this. Yeah, so I hit the brakes. I'm like, what the hell are he doing? Man? You don't get the hell out the road. They got the cone set up on the right side of the road with DOT on the side. Woo wee. But I'm going a little bit too fast. So I get the truck down 30 miles per hour, but I couldn't necessarily just come to a full stop because it was kind of like coming down the hill but I kind of like even though I went past them I kind of like tried to pull over and like stop in front of them but they I look in my rear view mirror they throwing their hands and they're like what the fuck Jay Lewis he just blowing past me he ain't even about to slow down what's <laughs> I said Jay Lewis I think it's a DOT especially he ain't he trying to get down there <laughs> so I didn't even bother like, once I got down 30 I just hey I saw him throw their hands and I kept going I said we ain't never coming back this way ever again we ain't nope then that's the end of this route ever so yeah they had a roadside DOT inspection we were supposed to come down the hill and park uh, in, in front of the cones and stuff on the side of the road so they can go ahead and uh, end our careers that's what it was supposed to be about but they went about it the wrong way uh, all that flagging and that ain't that ain't the way to do it that's, that's not it but like I said I thought the dude was just saying slow down, you know, some type of construction was going on. I didn't know it was a DOT inspection. Luckily, they didn't come chasing after us. But uh, after that, you know, uh, Jay Lewis, he's been having some uh, real tough times out here in this Atlanta area. Uh, on the interstate, they just, <laughs> that boy just had, he just going through it right now with DOT. They steady, they, they done bought him over a good three times at this point. He just going through it. He just, he can't catch a break out here in these streets. He cannot catch a break. They ain't got me, but you know, they keep getting, oh, they have got me, but you know, my a little bit different. Uh, they pulling him over. They ain't never pulling me over. They got me when I went to the scale house, uh, I didn't get on this thing happened to me twice. Coming to the scale house, and because I only got three fucking new tires on the back, and I got one old tire on the, you know, on my very back out, so y'all know I got three new tires, and don't do that stupid shit, but you know I did that stupid shit. I got three, three fucking brand new tires, and the last one is old. Well, every time I go through this scale, I trip the goddamn machine in the little office that tells them that I got a flat tire, even though it's not flat, so... They give me the red light. They want me to get on the scale. And of course, I'm empty. That's the only way I go on the scale house. I'm empty and my law books is completely up to date. So I get on the scale. They come outside and tell me to pop my brakes. They take their little hammer, beat the hell out the tires. Look at the brakes. Say I'm good to go. They ain't did that twice to me now. So, you know, but the officer in another state had told me that the reason that happens is because I got mismatched tread, Delph. And because I got mismatched tread off, the machine tells them 
that I got a flat tire, so that's why they're gonna always come out and look at the tires. But other than that, no inspectors or nothing like that, man. We made it through a brake safety week, although I had all new brakes and stuff on here. Good tires, good tread delf. Um, my law books and stuff is up to date. Yeah, I want to know what law book I use. I don't use paper laws, so I use. I use a new app, man. It's a new app called Easy Laws. That's I think that's what it's called. It's Easy Laws with a Z. Easy Laws. It used to be Keep Trucking. That's what I used to use. Today started scamming and charging. Use the app, but you go and download Easy Laws. And so far, I like that better. I don't pay nothing for it now, but they do have uh, for y'all that's got the uh, trucks older than the year 2000. You gonna have to buy a little device to plug up to your truck and all that shoe shine. Uh, when I called, that was like a hundred and ninety nine dollars. Then it's like forty dollars a month. But I got a nineteen ninety seven, and I don't require all that shoe shine. So you know, I get to save all that money in my pocket. I just need the ELD device. I mean, my bad. I just need the ELD app, and uh, it actually tracks, man. I, I put the location on. It's still, you know, on the, on the ELD book. It still say like uh, when I go on sleeper berth or on duty or off duty or drive time. It'll still say like you know I'm three miles southeast of Atlanta, Georgia. It'll still have it written correctly. So you know, even like that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily pay for the app. You know, I don't see really any real use out of it, but you know. Uh, Everything is filled in, distances, odometer, everything, location. You know, I put my, when I'm feeling, I do my, uh, I do my notes. You know, I do my pre-trip, type in pre-trip, type in fueling, you know, type in loading, unloading, I do all that. Get everything down to a T, so. Yep. That's what I do, even though I drive a 1997. Yep, I almost blew my engine. Yep, drivers, I almost blew my engine. I did, I did, I almost blew my engine yesterday. Don't be stupid like Andrew. Don't be stupid, I should've known better. So, come out the, uh, come out the shipper yesterday. I'm looking at the gauge, I'm like, man, damn, is the gauge broke or something? The oil pressure ain't even getting over 25 PSI. I'm like, man, is it? It's looking like it's glitching or something. You know, it's like dangling, but it ain't going up there. So I tell Jay Lewis, I say, hey man, let's, uh, let's stop right here at this uh, truck stop, man. My oil pressure gauge, it ain't going past 25 PSI. I don't know what's going on. I need to check the oil. So, uh, of course, I get to the truck stop, pop the oil. Huh. I mean, pop the, uh, the hood. There ain't no oil on the dipstick. Huh. No oil on the dipstick. I'm trying to think when the last time I checked it. I didn't check it. Don't be like me, travelers. Don't be like me. So, the truck stop we was at, we was at um, Circle K. They don't sell oil at the one we was at. So, we drive about an hour to the nearest Walmart, get to Walmart, go inside, and uh, I figured, you know, I probably need about two to three gallons of oil. You know, if it's uh, right below the dipstick, that's about two gallons. So, I get three. Well, I got five in total, just because, you know, I wanted to keep two extra underneath the bunk since I didn't have no oil in here. So, uh, we're going to get the five gallons of oil. It's like $15 each. Share Rotella T4. Come back out to the uh, truck, pop the hood. I put in one gallon. Put in two gallons. Check the dipstick. Huh? Ain't no oil on the dipstick. Put in three gallons. Huh? It ain't no oil on the dipstick. I put in four gallons. Check the oil again. It's just now getting up to the low mark. I put in five gallons. Now it's filled up. I was five gallons low. Woo! Woo! And I don't have no oil leaks. No oil leaks. So after that, Justin said, God damn, man. Uh, you gonna check the cooling too? <laughs> the cooling went low. The cooling went low. Okay, we checked the cooling. The cooling went low. But, you know, uh, you know, I be forgetting, you know. 
These old school trucks. We got to pop the hood drivers. Pop the hood and check that oil. Especially this truck right here. This truck modified. Y'all know I blew a lot of black smoke. A lot of black smoke. When you guys wanted me to do a video of all the black smoke I be blowing out. So uh, check my next YouTube stories. I'll put a couple of videos up so y'all can see what that look like. You know, but like I said, my truck is modified. You know. Show y'all what that look like. But other than that, man, diesel is uh well they got a diesel right here, this circle K, but let me see what they charge. 418. Diesel sitting at 418 right here. Y'all you know, can see the uh, the price, but all the pumps is out, so you know. I know what you're thinking. Damn, man, you just gonna haul the, 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 the freaking fuel pump like that? Yeah, man, we parked right here. We went over here to the Waffle House. Look, got me real nifty. I went over to the Waffle House, man. Got me one of them Texas, uh, what the hell did I get? Handbag and cheese melts with hash browns, man. Let's see. Waffle House right there. Shit, I was over there. Hell no, we didn't get it to go. Fool, what the hell you told me to sit down and eat? Sit down in eight weeks. We saw the trucks right here. They were cool. It wasn't, ain't nobody touching the trucks. Shit, they ain't got no diesel. So, <laughs> what you talking about? We ain't, it's a parking spot. It's a parking spot. They ain't got no diesel. <laughs> diesel truck, I don't know. Shit, they said it's a shortage. They said Hurricane took all the diesel. So they, so they claim. You know, but I got diesel across the street right here. So, you know. So, that's our encounter, but uh, we finna get ready to wrap it up out here in this Atlanta area. It's been fun. I know a lot of y'all messaging me begging for work. I understand, drivers. I understand. It's tough out there in these streets. Everybody want to lease on. Some of y'all want to be company drivers. Y'all begging to drive the other trucks. <laughs> y'all don't care if it's got AC or not. Look, I know trucking is tough and it's hard to make money. For a lot of y'all, I understand. And uh, trust me, I want to hire all y'all. I do. I want to hire all y'all and put all y'all to work in trucks. But unfortunately, uh, on the motor carrier side, trucking just don't work that way, man. It don't work that way. Uh, it was hard enough to get Justin on this account. It was, it was hard to the motherfucker, boy. You know, they let me on, but you know, they, they you know. Keep in mind, we ain't the main carrier, you know. We the backup carrier. We we the guys that's filling up. We filling in for the backup carrier that can't handle the account, you know. To actually keep that silo filled requires 25 trucks, 25 pneumatic trailers. We don't have that, and neither does the main carrier, which is why we backing them up. So, uh... The main carrier, if y'all saw, I think I did a video on it. Y'all saw, they got like nine pneumatic tankers fully loaded. It's just sitting right there at the, uh, at the unloader, at, you know, at all times, you know, just because, you know, it's hard to keep up with capacity. So, you know, uh, I told the guy, I say, look, I got five trucks. Uh, he did ask me, can I have all five of them trucks? So he asked me that yesterday. He was like, hey man, you think you can get all five of them trucks here? to work into Friday, and I'm like, no, I can't, that ain't, that's not how trucking work, man, I don't just, I can't just hire a driver for two days, that ain't, that's not how trucking works, you know, but, you know, you give us goddamn 30 days, we can make something happen, we can make something happen, you know, because this classic right here ready to go, you know, this ain't nothing but just getting the AC hooked up, this truck ready to go, I throw a driver in this, the flat top, I can hop back in, I'm gonna hire them, uh, that holes, that AC holes made when I get back to the house. And uh, that's just hooking that back up and that's ready to go. You know. Just need to do some basic maintenance to the uh, flat top. We still need to do shots. Shots. Change out some light bulbs. Uh. Oh, we need oil changes on all the trucks. This time, we need oil changes on everything. I'm going to do a cooling flush on this truck. Well, I need to do a cooling flush on all my trucks because the coolant, the coolant in that uh, Mercedes is two years old. It's supposed to do a cooling flush every year, every 100,000 miles. Hey, Mercedes need an overhead adjustment too. 
You ain't hear that either. Valve was just for, that's what, 550, 550 for a valve adjustment. Get the uh, transmission differential fluids check changed out, whatever we need to do. I need to service the blower, add oil to that. Justin told me how to add oil to it. He said it was like a star key to unlock it, unlock the blower. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I, I definitely want to hire everybody, but I don't have no control over the work. That's the problem. You know, you can have the trucks, the trailers, you know, you can have all the workers, but if uh, Mr. Charlie say that, hey man, uh, no, we can't let you grow like that. We, we can't, no, we still see. Even I have to deal with Mr. Charlie. It ain't just y'all. I think I be talking out the side of my neck. You no, know, Mr. Charlie is in charge over here. You thought I was in charge. No, Mr. Charlie is in charge. Mr. Charlie just paid me more money than most people. That's all. That's all. He just paid me a little bit more money. Not too much more money, though. You don't let me get that far here. But yeah, Mr. Charlie is most definitely in charge around here. He just don't got his foot on my neck like he do in Jordan, y'all. Okay, that's all. So, you know. That's all. But yeah, uh, I told Mr. Charlie, I said, yeah, but we got five trucks. We got five trucks. Oh. What do you guys ask me? Is Mr. Charlie white? Mr. Charlie can be any color. In my case, Mr. Charlie is a Nigerian, so, you know. Over at the plant, they Nigerians. So, you know, that's who Mr. Charlie is for me. You know, for y'all, it's whoever... You know, all y'all work at different companies. Mr. Charlie can be anybody. I just came up with the name because it sounded funny. <laughs> I was saying Suit and Tiger has it first. Uh, yeah, we can still say Suit and Tiger has it. Shoot, Mr. Charlie, Suit and Tiger. But then you guys start saying I was a Suit and Tiger. I am a Suit and Tiger. I just still drive trucks. That's all. But here in just a second, I'm finna be real official when I get up there in the sky. Yeah, I'm still thinking about, yeah, just, just, just hold on, wait till I get my little, my little airplane uniform going on. If I actually decide to go through with it, don't worry. Get my little airplane uniform. A lot of y'all want to know, Andrew, are you going down to Florida? I'm still right here working on this account. How can I go to Florida? It wasn't enough damage to go down to Florida. Just chill, wait for the next hurricane. Not enough damage, mostly just heavy rain. So, you know, it's not that much damage, but they still sitting adjusters down there though, you know. But, just wait for the next hurricane. I still got some more training I need to do too, you know. But if I was at the house, yeah, I'd go down there. I'd go down there. Right now, now if it was a lot of damage, I'd still go down there. I'll just head to the house because this right here for to come to the end. You know, we were supposed to be at the home at the house yesterday. Mr. Charlie said, "Hold on tight." He said, "Hold on tight to uh, Friday, so which is tomorrow." Go ahead and finish out the week. I told Mr. Charlie, "Hey, uh, you know, not have to carry it and count back up. You know, if they ever, you know." They ever get back behind, Mr. Charlie? I got five trucks. Five trucks. I'm not gonna buy no new matters. I found a place to rent them out for uh, 300 a week down there in the uh, Fort Worth area. If y'all in the oil field, y'all know the place I'm talking about. They rent out the new matter trailers. I just go out, you know, go pick up a bunch of trailers from now. Finna get up out of here. Catch y'all in this video.